crispy rice paper salmon rolls. These are so delicious. They're essentially a spring roll, but instead of using that classic spring roll wrapper, I'm going to be using rice paper rolls. These always remind me of Thailand. And you can do these vegetarian, or if you really want to jazz them up, why not use a can of salmon? It really works nicely. So we need to fry off some vegetables, lots of veggies into this. I've got some hot oil here. I've finely chopped some cabbage and some carrot, and we'll start with that. I want the veggies to be quite fine for this recipe because I want to see the flakes of salmon throughout this. So we'll just pop that in the oil and get that going. At the same time, going to chop some spring onions. So you want three or four spring onions and we'll finally cut them into rounds. They can also go in. I love the spring onions for this recipe because they're subtle in flavour. So I don't want too much of an intense onion flavour. So just something sweet and mild and they take no time at all to cook. So gather them together and in they go. Along with some ginger and I'm just going to finely mince the ginger into this. You want about a teaspoon is plenty. Just tap that off. Fantastic. And some fresh shiitake mushrooms. If you can't get your hands on some fresh shiitake, you can use some dried shiitakes. You simply need to place them into some warm water and then rehydrate them and squeeze out the excess water. And just roughly chop it to start with. Once that's in a big pile, just run your sharp knife through the mushrooms so it's as fine as that carrot and cabbage. That can then go into the hot oil and we'll just give that a toss three or four times and take it off the heat. We want to cool this mixture down because we don't want to be adding our salmon to a hot mixture. The vegetable mixture has cooled down so we can add our canned salmon you can see there's lovely flakes of it, so you don't have to crush it too much. And about 200 grams is what we're after for this. And into this, we're going to add some fresh coriander. Just gonna run our knife through it a few times. We want a small handful of the coriander. Just roughly chop that. And then into that. You don't wanna add it too early because it will wilt too much. You wanna sort of keep that vibrant flavor. And then we'll fold that through and that's our really delicious mixture. Now I haven't seasoned this yet, so I will add a splash of soy sauce, just the smallest amount. That is replacing the salt. Fantastic, this mixture is ready. In fact, this mixture is just nice on some plain rice, but even better wrapped up in some rice paper sheets. So we'll place these rice paper sheets into some water just to soften. You don't want to leave it in the water for too long, so just dunk it if you like, shake the excess off, and then place it onto a clean surface. Now we'll grab one to two tablespoons, depending on how big you want your parcels, and we'll place that into the center of the sheet. So I'm gonna add three dessert spoons full. And I am making the parcels, but if you wanted to, you could just roll them into little spring rolls. It's really up to you. So I like to bring in the top sides and fold them over each other. Press that down, and then we just want to tuck in the sides here, just so it's easy to fold up. See how pliable it becomes just after a few moments? Then fold that over and fold that over. And you'll see on the other side, we've got a perfect little parcel. Now my little trick is to do this twice and the reason I do it twice is to ensure that the mixture doesn't fall out as it fries. So just grab another sheet, shake the excess water off into the centre and again we're going to just completely cover it. So all of that mixture is sealed in and it won't burst as it fries. Now I've got some hot oil over here. I'm gonna make a few more of these and then we're gonna fry them. They take no time at all to crisp up, maybe about 30 seconds to a minute on each side. These are crispy, I'm so happy with them. And we'll just take them out of the oil and you wanna drain them on some paper towel. So just be really careful, that oil is so hot. You know, you usually wouldn't think that rice paper roll will go so crispy, but it does. And it goes even crispier because we've double wrapped these beautiful little parcels. It's almost like a fish cake 
that's even better because it's got that crispy exterior. I just love this recipe. And this calls for a quick little sauce. So into a bowl, I'll add some sweet chilli sauce. So I want a few tablespoons. You could even just serve it with sweet chilli, but one is not enough for me because I like to add some soy sauce. And I really do like that sesame flavour. So some sesame oil and some sesame seeds. Grab a spoon and we'll just give that a really quick mix. And I'll actually return this to this bowl here. I love the speckles of the sesame seeds. Pour that in, nice thick dipping sauce. And most of those ingredients you'll probably have in your pantry. So to plate up, we'll just get this black plate. We'll place our sauce on there. We'll grab a few sprigs of coriander. Just had some leftover, so that can go on the side. And then these have cooled down and we'll just pop them onto our plate. Let's pile them up. So there you have it. They're my Thai inspired salmon parcels. Canned salmon, it works a treat in recipes just like this one.